हरिहरेश्वर श्रीवर्धन जिल्हा रायगड किनाऱ्यावर एक सोळा मीटर लांबीची बोट दुर्घटनाग्रस्त अवस्थेत स्थानिक मच्छीमारांना मिळून आली त्यांनी पोलीस अधिकाऱ्यांना कळवल्यानंतर तपासणी करण्यात आली त्या आणि त्याचा दारू दारूगोळा तसेच बोटीशी संबंधित नंतर तात्काळ नाकाबंदीचे आदेश देण्यात आले इतर संबंधित यंत्रणांनाही कल्पना देण्यात आली माहितीनुसार सदर बोटीचे नाव लेडी हान असून तिची मालकी युरोप कडे जाणार होती सव्वीस सहा दोन हजार बावीस रोजी सकाळी दहाच्या सुमारास या बोटीचे इंजिन निकामी झाले मदतीसाठी कॉल दिला प्रवाहामुळे भरकटत हरिहरेश्वर किनाऱ्याला लागलेली आहे अशी माहिती भारतीय कोस्ट गार्ड झालेली आहे पोलीस घटकांना सतर्कतेचा आदेश देण्यात आलाय भारतीय आणि केंद्रीय संस्थांशी सतत संपर्क बारकाईने येतो आहे अध्यक्ष महोदय या संदर्भात कुठेही याबद्दल ऑथेंटिसिटी आहे माहिती जरी प्राप्त झाली असली तरी नाकाबंदीचे आदेश दिले आहेत सणांचे दिवस असल्यामुळे घटना घडणार नाही याच्याकडे लक्ष ठेवण्या दिलेला This confirmation has been given by central agency it was just now anti udya gopal kala shrivardhan talukya All right, we just heard uh, the deputy CM uh, Devendra Fadnavis of Maharashtra uh, share some very crucial details uh, with us regarding the uh, discovery of these two boats. Uh, let's quickly go back to Vinaya Deshpande who joins us uh, with more details. Uh, Vinaya, if you could uh, finally reiterate for all our viewers uh, what the deputy CM had to say. I believe he's shared some very significant details with regards to the ownership of one of the boats. Absolutely. These are important details that have been given by the Home Minister and the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra, who has said that this was a rescue, a search and rescue operation, as well as the uh, details that were shared by central agencies with us had indicated. Uh, he has said that the ownership of the boat is with an Australian woman whose husband was the captain of the boat and who was... Uh, uh you know taking the boat from oman when there was a distress call that was given and a crew had issued that distress call after which the crew and the captain were rescued by a korean vessel which could not uh take charge of the boats from which the entire crew was rescued and that is how these boats went adrift and through the current have now come at shrivardhan in raigad uh this is something that central agencies have come come to maharashtra government uh the home minister and the deputy chief minister they're saying that though these are all authentic details that have been brought forth but on the face of the festivities that are coming forth in the state may be gopal kala tomorrow or the coming uh, uh, you know uh, dahi handi tomorrow or ganesh utsav that's coming within the next few days uh the government does not want to take any chances and that is why security has been beefed up everywhere in fact we have those visuals of nakabandi 
and uh, you know strict checking that has been happening at every nook and corner uh, on the mumbai goa highway as well as we have been seeing uh, so uh, clearly agency is there putting their act together maharashtra government saying that the central agencies are constantly in touch with the maharashtra government and that there after joint investigation it has been established that there does not seem to be a security threat that these are uh, these boats uh, went adrift and because of the current came to shrivardhan in uh, raigarh and that due to the distress call the search and rescue operation that was conducted people on board these boats were rescued by a korean vessel uh, the ownership of an australian woman whose husband was the captain of the ship so All maharashtra right. government now clearly making it amply clear that the no security threat as of now that has been discovered from the joint investigation absolutely and the joint investigation continues vinaya stay with us we are also getting in some more breaking inputs as we are learning that after